hey guys welcome back to another video now in this video we will be talking about becky during the Cannes film festival now in the beginning like nishpat did put out on her twitter that becky was going to be free on the 18th i think she said that becky had nothing to do that she will be launching by the pool now i don't know if she said the whole day or in the afternoon i'm not sure about that don't quote me i think i did the whole video and it is posted on my channel now there was a lot of apro why she would go all the way to Cannes and just sit by the pool and just rest but again like whoever that girl prays to or goes to like girl send me a message send me a message because i want to know now this didn't start well for becky in my opinion like i loved everything she was wearing when she was going when she was in the airport or when she was traveling but i didn't think it was an airport look especially it being summer and she was wearing leather pants she was wearing a leather jacket and it's extremely hot plus boots so you can imagine how hot she was and then the trousers were even ill-fitting like she had to pull them up every single time she thought people were not watching or she was in an area where people were not so much i understand some people find the appeal of a low-rise trouser but i guess that wasn't just working for becky so that fit was just wrong and then came with came the is it delay of the flight or missing the flight i don't know like there was a delay they missed the flight and all that so like it started bad 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 first it was she was just going to launch by the pool the first day two it was the outfit was just it wasn't just giving to me in my opinion like there were great pieces but i don't think there were pieces that were great enough for her to travel in that's exactly what i'm saying especially with the weather and they were traveling in the afternoon morning towards the afternoon which is extremely extremely hot if it were the night then i would say yeah but also at night i i just can't see someone wearing leather to travel that's just me now she finally got to the destination and things lit up for her like she became the plus one to the earliest now every single person every single person that attended that event that came into contact with her hasn't stopped raving about her hasn't stopped raving of how beautiful she is how kind she is how articulate she is like how classy like she represents herself how she carries herself like it has been nothing but kind kind words you know you can hear it from one person and think okay maybe they are just saying they're just saying it because they want to say it but when you hear the same same thing from the same from different people it's either this person is an amazing amazing person or she's a wonderful wonderful actor that she was able to fool these people into thinking that she's this kind of person so people had nothing but amazing amazing words for it now if you remember i did do a video hoping and praying that they don't put her in something black because balenciaga just doesn't work with the black yes they're, they're mostly black is their primary colors i think most things they do are in black but they also have do dresses in other colors so i was just hoping they will give her something to pop that i can see her from 30 feet away or 20 feet away and i'm saying yeah that's becky that's definitely becky look at 
how amazing she looks now this doesn't mean that she didn't look amazing she looked dead drop gorgeous like the cut the everything everything was perfection the hair the makeup everything but for me again i will just say i just wish she wore some other color other than black because i loved the look but i wasn't wowed by the look like the second dress that she wore on the second day was magical like it was perfection to her skin tone like everything looked well kept well done like everything was in sync i absolutely loved it then again she was there i guess representing balenciaga and i feel like maybe they only way they felt like they would sell her because it was her her first time at Cannes, and they wanted to wear this big brand so that because they know that if she wears this big brand like people will rave more about her because they will want to know who is this girl specifically that balenciaga has gone out of their way to dress her like they will know of how important she is but if i were to compare and say the first the second the third look i will go for more the second look first and the, the third look, I loved the structure of the third look. I loved its back. I loved how it, on the side, it gave us a little bit of, like, side boob-ish. But, like, I loved it all. And then I loved the dress because, the second dress, because it was a low neck. And it, it gave us, like, we were able to see her neck all the way down. Like, without being it, like, risky. And it was also like the dress was more manageable because with the Balenciaga, like it had one hand had a huge flap that when she had to greet people, she had to find a way to maneuver out her hand so that she could be able to greet like other people. And especially that long, like piece of cloth of fabric was on her right hand, which made it more of a hassle. But other than that, amazing, amazing looks. Now, she was just not, you know, like, she was just not in the Thai media or the Asian media. Like, she was all over Google. If you just, like, search Becky Armstrong cans, like, there's so many articles about her that come from Teen Vogue. Like, it's from the best dress list. Like, she was everywhere. And then when it came to, like doing the whole red carpet i don't know but deep down i feel like the red carpet she went on with the ceo of red sea film i feel like that was the red carpet meant for friends something is just telling me that the only reason like she went was to fill up for friend if i'm not wrong someone let me know in the comment section and it was just the best decision ever for her because she was put in front of like people who can literally change her life if she maintains a good connection with them and she maintains a constant communication with them and she's not afraid to like go around borders like Becky even if they call you for a movie to be a cat in India in Mexico girl do it do it nothing is ever too small because you'll be able to shine there and you'll be able to gather more fans like don't and don't like if this whole cans film has shown you something i hope it has shown you that you can shine on your own you have you do have the charisma you do have the beauty you do have the poise you do have the social skills to actually stand on your own and on top of your talent like you can go far 
I hope those connections that you had just don't come with an Instagram following. I hope they do come up with business emails and all that. And you start finding ways to help one another so that you can benefit from all the connections that you made. Yeah. So, like, super proud. Extremely proud from someone who her fans thought, like, she was just being forced to go to the trip. Like, she was just going to be nothing. But an escort, a translator, turned out to dominate every single room that she was in. And which doesn't mean that friend didn't do so. But then again, like the amount of press Becky got, I'm sure the CEO of Red Sea Film and CEO of Venture Management are wondering, did we choose the wrong woman? Should we have actually put Becky there? Or even if we would have just put friend, we would have included Becky. Like, it would have been so amazing and it would have brought so many courage, coverage to whatever we were trying to do. And it would have been like a blast. Now, if you've gotten to the end of this video, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Turn on the post notification. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video and let me know in the comment section. Do you actually believe that niche part and the CEO of Red Sea Film like realized that they made a mistake because even the CEO of Red Sea Film did a whole video of his trip to Cannes Film Festival guess who was missing woman of the year guess who was in the video for more than 10 seconds Beck friend wasn't on that video unless I missed that frame let me know in the comment section unless I missed that frame I saw the I think two or three of the other girls who were in the panel of the women in cinema, but I did not see friend. Like, I don't know. I haven't seen a picture of friend by herself with the CEO of Red Sea Film. If it is there, please let me know again. Because again, I'm only just one person. So I might miss a lot and I will be really appreciative like for you guys to actually direct me to it. So I think at the end of the day, whoever Becky and her family prays to, please send a message to the person and tell them to help a girl out. Like I need it too. And I will be eternally grateful. So, bye guys.